IDJ wanted to talk with us about putting together a trailer using some of the footage you've been recording this past month. Take your time. I'll meet you by the elevator. Alright, hello everyone. I'm 6410 and welcome back to Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. Last time, we uh, had to stop, um, had to help Blackbeard with a fight. Uh, and then we end up having to help him get his medicine that he was trying to barter for with hostages. Uh, now we're back here. Back in the real world. Outside of that thing. The Animus. And we only have one, two, three, four. That's you. Right? And, uh, yeah. Now we're going to be doing... I don't know what we're doing. Wait, this is Hellas. No, I will meet Melina. Melanie. I don't. I don't know how to pronounce that name. I probably do. I just, you know, I'm bad with names. Um, go so this way. Ooh, but we got a computer that we can access over here. Is it? This. And access this. Password. Something. All right. We need to go down. Right. The left. There we go. Don't ask me how I remember that. Initiating uh, extra extraction sequence initiated. Code accessing information. Looks like a camera of some sort. Tychithria mechanism. Tychithria, I guess it's pronounced. Alright, so we got another tangy mobob there. Do we have any more uh, that we can hack in this area? Any more? Can I move any faster? Okay, yeah, if I hold down R1. For other people's incompetence. I'm going to. Oh, no, 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 there's one more over here. Okay, for a moment I thought this was my, uh, stand, uh, what do you call I don't remember what it's called. Alright, so this one you need to go to the left, go down, you have to go to the left again, then up, and there you go. There you go, initiating extraction, action sequence initiated, could re okay, I'm gonna start reading all that. Uh, here we go. Oliver, here's the initial initial presentation I received. Oh, uh, what is this? Security system presentation. Yeah, I guess it's uh POS. I don't know why that sounds familiar. Bloom. All right, so I guess that's just a presentation thing. All right, so I think we got all of those there. The yeah, we're gonna get what we can here. Those sticky note. Oh, are there any sticky notes? There's some over here, right? Any sticky notes? I don't remember what they looked like. I think they were kind of holographic in a way. Maybe? I don't remember. Pretty sure they're obvious. The only reason I think that I should try grabbing these while I'm here is because I think some of them you can actually miss. But I don't remember exactly. Yeah, so I assume there's nothing here. Um, where's the... I go? No, I cannot. Assume I already have all these then? Maybe? Not. But I, I'm gonna look around and I'll just cut to if I find any, so be right back, guys. 
All right, guys. So I found some computers here. Let's go ahead and hack into these and see what they have. Be careful now. As the data moves, there are security programs constantly monitoring the data flow. You need to sneak past them, or they will destroy your data and send it back home. All right, I can I can do this. It's like playing Frogger. I was good at Frogger. I was I was so good at Frogger that uh I'm I'm uh purpose. Purposely, uh, oops, I did not mean to hold that down. Uh, I'm purposely messing up here just to make it fair, you know, to make it look challenging. Actually, it's really easy. Uh, yeah, you guys believe me, right? Right? There we go. I don't think it really matters which one you go in. I have put off my woman's dress. Why did you take it? Who made you take it? I took it of my own free will. With no constraint. I prefer a man's dress to a woman's. You made an oath, Jeanne. You swore to never again dress as a man. I never meant to swear that I would not resume the practice. Why have you done so? Because it is more lawful and suitable for me to return to the practice of wearing a man's dress. Being always among men, than to have a woman's dress. I have resumed it because a promise made to me has not been. How is he? Our three doing well. Are we still in 18th century Hungary? No. His connection is so stable, he's jumped between a few ancestors today. We're in 15th century France now. Turns out he's related to one of Joan of Arc's executioners. <laughs> Surprise. Uh, Eileen, yesterday Vidic asked me to help him work out some of the bugs in his audiovisual renderer, uh, and I told him. No, no, no. Come on, Satish, not you. It wouldn't be permanent. A, a few months at most. Months? That will kill every ounce of momentum we have. It won't, I promise. Honestly, I think this could help us. If, if I can get a look at what these people are doing, we could. Come on. He's trying to pull you over to his side. Don't you see that? He's luring you with quick victory and prestige. That's not what this is about, honestly. I need to get back to work. Eileen, I'm sorry. Do what you must. I'll survive. Surrogate Initiative, Test Session 32, April 2nd, 1981. Host Eileen Bach, DNA sample SV1970. Miriam. Miriam, are you awake? What? Miriam's are coming for me. Who is? The guards? I see them from my window, amassing in the courtyard. My time is up. Basil, don't say this. You don't know that. Forgive me for this, Miriam. But I must tell you something. The artifact. We have it. But only Oscar and I know its location. Don't tell me. They will release you. Your family has connections. You must take the artifact and bring it to the assassins in Paris. Please don't. I don't want to know. It's safer if I don't. Hush now. If I die, knowledge of its location dies with me. You must bring it to the assassins. Assassins? I don't understand. It's a spy of St. Petrus. No, I don't want to hear. Sam, seven. Sam. Hello? Eileen, hi. It's Carl. Carl, I know it's you. Sorry, you just sound exhausted. Did I wake you? No, no, I'm... I've just been busy. It sounds like it. I'm just a little tired, that's all. No, I mean, your your project sounds fascinating. Your colleague, Dr. Warren Vidic, he called me recently and he told me what you've been up to. He what? Warren? Yeah, he told us about your research, memories, ancestry, all of that. He even asked if we'd be willing to come in and... No! Jesus, no! What the hell is he doing? Eileen, it's okay. We signed some papers, non-disclosure stuff. No! He's trying to fuck me over! Damn it! 
Eileen, we just talked about my mother. Just like you and I did. World War II. That's all. It's the artifact. The what? Carl, if he calls you again, you tell him you work through me, okay? That's it. Vidic has been a pain in my ass for years. And I don't need him getting all the glory for my two years of hard work. All right. Uh, so how should I go about this? I mean, the wheels are in motion. I... I don't know. Just go through me if he contacts you again. Please? All right. You'll do that? Of course. Yes. Thank you, Carl. I'm sorry I was short with you. I've just been exhausted. That's all. It's all right, hon. Just... just take care of yourself. Morning, Eileen. We're almost ready. Just a few more adjustments. Hmm. Okay. I had the team do some research on this artifact we've been chasing, and it appears the Third Reich actually found something matching its description sometime in 1940. Uh, Eileen, are you all right? Sorry, yeah. I'm fine. Just a little scattered. Biddick called Meg's husband last night. He wants to put him in the Animus. To find the artifact before us? Exactly. Well, it would be faster using Biddick's Animus. And maybe that would get us back to our original work. Satish, if we let that happen, then all our money dries up. Lillian is paying for us to find the artifact, not improve our methods. Do you understand? Right, of course. I'm sorry. Let's just... let's just burn those bridges when we cross them. Are we ready? Yes, just a few more adjustments, Senorian. I made a small change to the genetic input modulator. I'm hoping that buys us a few more minutes. Even a few seconds would be nice. I'm ready. All right. Settle in. Okay, so, uh, if you guys want to listen to those, let me know, and I'll actually go through them. I don't know if I'll do it during the middle of an episode, or if I'll wait till the end. You guys can let me know in the comments, uh, down below. Let's go ahead and enter this other computer here. Okay, so it's another one of these. I do this with the arrows. Yeah, okay. Extra arrows to the rescue! another audio tape we'll skip it for now otherwise okay oh, yeah. uh, let's go ahead and skip it then we can get to those at a later oh th okay so that's what they look like all right oh the sticky note I'll read all those at the end uh anything else anything anything else of notability Oh. Pulling down the wrong button to try and run. Uh. Alright, you know what? I think we've gotten all we can for now. I don't think we can access anything else for now, so... so let's just cut. I'll just cut to when I get to where I need to be. So. Be right back, guys. They checked mine three times Okay. Right here. Are you ready? He's waiting for us. Uh, where are we going? Oh, DCO. I just watched some of your footage from this week. It's amazing. Blackbeard was mental. And we all got so excited that we started talking about this idea for a trailer about him. Maybe start with him drinking, talking to some pirates, telling a story. Then, we cut to him leaping across the deck of his boat and, sorry, his ship, not boat, but jumping around the deck of his ship, swinging from ropes and fighting like a devil. I mean, obviously we're gonna have to manipulate some of the existing footage to get it looking good, but it could be great. I'm getting a shiver in my timbers just thinking about it. <laughs> sorry. 
Very interesting conversation. Oh, oh. Bonjour, ça va? I hope we're not late. No, you can go right. I'm Melanie, I saw you just walked in. I need a few minutes with you alone. Leticia is on the phone and we're discussing the Kenway project. Oh, yes, of course. Sorry about this. I'll call you when we're ready. Okay. Shouldn't be long. Take your time. Take your time. Hello? Hello? Nope. Do you have a second? Of course you do. Head to the waypoint on your map. I have another no. job for you. I'd like to link all the cameras in the building to a central monitoring system, but most aren't captured correctly. Uh. Excuse me, sir, but you are not on my list right now. I am in the middle of, yeah, uh, checking the bathroom. All this for, uh, <clears throat> wow, my voice is going. Well, not really. Oh, yeah, I just needed to clear my throat, but you know what I mean. You... Uh, so nothing in here, huh? Nothing at all. That's a bummer, but oh well. Um, alright, let's go downstairs. Anything of anything Another I should notice door. in here? Not a problem. Voila. You now have level two security clearance. Not bad for your first few weeks. Find the camera control station I'm first. Have to come down here again. Wait, this is the camera. I'll update your communicator. Okay. I wanna check things around first. No. Alright. Been access to these camera does. Oh, this is an interesting security measure. It looks like you need to find the right combination of numbers. Oh, okay. I love doing this stuff. Enough, right? Okay, so uh, pick a number selector, then change its value. You want to go Once with you find the right combination a, of numbers. You should get out of seven. Want to go with three? Uh, five. There we go. There's something wasn't right. Target number 70. Testing camera controls. Testing microphone. Better not be accessing my microphone. It works. And if we want information on assassins or Templars or the observatory or whatever the fuck else interests us, Olivier, you will deliver it. Full stop. Uh huh. I understand that, Leticia. I'm sorry if that came up wrong. We are not trying to be a bottleneck here, but we just don't have the resources right now to do two times the research. Finding that balance is your priority. Your entertainment products are simply a means to pay the bills for larger and more important work. That's the way the world works. Hmm? Dirty money buys clean hospitals. You get it? We're on board, Letitia, rest assured. We have our best employee working on this, but it will take time. That means you. Good. And thank you. The both of you. I look forward to seeing what you deliver. Until then, I'll see you at the shareholders meeting, Olivier. L looking forward to it. Bye-bye. Tabarnak! It's a little too early for that kind of abuse, huh? Come on. So, what's next? We do as the lady says. Focus on the observatory. Alright, that's interesting at all. Assassins, Templars, crazy talk. I'm curious about the sheriff. Oh, a meeting, note. Though. How about you? Yeah, you can wait for a moment. Up. I'm not really interested in what you're saying. Oh, another ticket. Alright. Let's see if you can find a schedule. Oh, what? You don't like that idea? Well, how about I blow the fucking whistle on you, hacker? I owe okay. you. <laughs> what I mean is, I don't want to ruin your life, so do as I say. Now, step over to the window. Oh yes, benevolent voice that is talking to me and sparing me for not getting me in trouble, even though it themselves put me in this situation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. How do I know I can trust you? Uh, you know what? I trust you. can't waltz into Olivier's office through the front door, so I've opened another route. Up we go. Did he know that Abstergo was run by Templars? Oh, yeah. 
Sounds like crackpot stuff, I know. But then again, the moon landing was fake, right? So, anything's possible. I suppose. I suppose. Bees. Um. All right. Either you walk through that door or throw yourself off the terrace. Those are your options. This option seems nice. I mean, it'd be a great view on the way down, the wind in my face. No. Uh oh. Maybe something over here. No. Nothing over there. Oh, well done, kiddo. Find his computer. Okay. Make it snappy. We're looking for the shareholders' what? meeting schedule. It's worth a lot of what money. What does the computer look like? The computer? I actually, I actually have a reflection. No. Um. So, uh, any, any sticky notes in here? That's what I'm mostly looking for. I don't know why I would think they would be way up there. Hello! I'm in his office, even though he's not here anymore. Is that a problem? No. Thank you. Thank you for your, your kindness and understanding of... Ooh, he has guns. Uh, let's see, I'll take that knife. Uh, that knife. Uh, that gun. And that gun. That gun, that gun, that sword. I'll take the books as well. Pretty sure those are books. Um. Is there any other? No. Uh, does he have anything else in here that's a boat? Okay. I know I'm looking around a lot. I, I gotta look around. Yay, more leapfrog or frogger. I don't remember what it's called. Oh no, it's this one. If I remember correctly, you're safe as well. Oh, no, that's. Wait for it to go solid again. Oh, got that I was going the opposite way. So, and then jump. <laughs> okay, that was my bad. And jump. Let it turn red. Uh, I, I was going back to normal for a moment. Okay, red. Jump. Aw, oh, come on. Come on, I can do better than that. Okay, let's try this again, shall we? Not kill ourselves. And be an idiot. Um, alright. There we go. It took a little longer, but I, I got it. I got it in the end. Fiction successful. Oh, let's see. Jumelia Lama, Kamak, whatever those names are that I cannot read. Evan Don, D Dean, uh, I don't know. Oliver, eight six November twenty thirteen. Nine six four assault. I don't know. Um, as most of you know, I'll be attending the Chicago shareholders meeting the 15th to the 17th, and they'll want to see our progress with the Kenway line. The small amount of data we have already gathered is incredible, and we uh, anticipate even more amazing finds in the near future. The events and people we have seen so far make us com conf confident. I mean, confident. That the complete experience will be one of the most eye-opening explorations of piracy ever seen. Oh crap, I did that on accident. Uh, it will take quite a bit of work to scrub the data out of object uh, objectionable and classified material. But we already have some incredible promising footage. This is a lot to read. Um... Yeah, that's a lot to read. Oh, if you guys want me to, but that's what I'll do. I'll let you guys read it yourself, if it's readable, readable for you guys. I have no idea. I read the first paragraph section for you, so next part. There's the there's the other parts.
but I'll go up to here. There you go, there's that part. Alright, so there we go. Got all that in for you guys. You sneaky bastard. A pirate through and through, ain't ya? Now, get down to the lobby. There's a courier waiting. Yeah, that's right. I've been planning this. I'm not go few back hours. this way, okay. Now wait. The receptionist. Hold on. I'll try something. Alright, that's right. He's gonna just try the receptionist. As gullible as ever. Now hurry down to the lobby before I remotely detonate your earpiece. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep talking, sir. Yeah, we're gonna hack another computer here. Oh, oh, I didn't think that one through. I didn't get that one fast enough. Oh. Oh, come on. I, I'm good at this, I swear. As soon as I say that. Okay. I did it again. Oh, that's one of the painful parts about this is that it can actually just send you all the way back. But once you came. Oh, come on, I was in there. What is this? Oh, what is this? Come on, you know, you know I was there. You all saw it, I was... Okay, that was, that was a bad one. But uh, the other one, you know, I was in there, you know, I was, I was set, I was good. See, I just, I don't know, I... I'm not as good as I thought I was, apparently. I was... Oh, I thought, I was paying attention to that red line, I thought it was dead already, so, you know. Okay, I was forced on that one. Come on. Oh, come on. If it just moved when I want it to move, it would be beautiful, but you can't move very quick, apparently. Or maybe you can, it just... Was it registering? Oh, come on! Do I need to use analog stick? Is that a lot quicker? Yeah, okay, I guess analog stick is the way to go. Even though I don't care to use... care to use analog... Oh, no, okay. I'm gonna have to cut a lot of this out because I just keep... I... I'm just gonna stop talking. I'm gonna start talking. There we go. Alright. Alright, I'll read this stuff later. But for now, I'm actually going to end it off right here. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't even think about ratting me out. My tracks are covered. Yeah, I hope to see you guys in the next episode. Jout.